Scandinavian Bob here, hi. If you are new to this thing and you have never heard about abstinence and testosterone, I am going to share something interesting with you. This image is from a serious study made on 28 male volunteers who refrained from busting any nuts whatsoever <laughs> while their testosterone levels were tested. And as you can see, the testosterone levels slowly started climbing, reaching a very big spike on day 7. Here's a direct quote from the study. The authors found that the fluctuations of the testosterone levels from the second to fifth day of abstinence were minimal. On the seventh day of abstinence, however, a clear peak of serum testosterone appeared, reaching 145.7% of the baseline. Unquote. Yeah, so that spike on day seven is actually a really, really big increase and nothing to just shrug your shoulders at. And it is kind of a bummer that the testosterone levels do not stay that high going forward, even should you decide to keep your <laughs> no busting streak going. But look at the image again. Day 5 is already quite elevated, and day 6 even more so, and day 8 is still significantly above baseline. Now, I have personally known about this study for many years, and so have many of my older subscribers. But if you are new to this, then you should know that, yes, this can actually be used as a natural testosterone hack. You know, I sometimes see comments on some forum where guys are discussing this, <laughs> and then some of them say things like, yeah, it's pretty cool. All we have to do is to abstain for seven days and we get to take advantage of that spike. And I go, uh, no. Why would you bust on day seven if day seven is the highest day? Wouldn't it be better to do it on day eight? 8 or day 9 in that case. In fact, I experimented with this a few years back where I had a busting cycle of 9 days and in the gym I remember I at one point experimented with training my favorite muscle groups on day 2 and on day 7 of this cycle <laughs> to really take advantage of that high spike on my second session. Now this is not a recommendation either for or against doing this. My point with this video is just to share interesting stuff. And if you're new here, I'm just saying this can be done. It is truly a strange way to naturally boost testosterone levels, <laughs> wouldn't you say? Now, I'm currently not doing this 9-day cycle as right now. I'm actually doing a much, much longer retention challenge <laughs> just for the heck of it. But I have always loved experimenting with all kinds of things related to our body. For example, now I'm considering trying a new testosterone supplement that I think looks pretty interesting. And if you are not up for doing the 9-day busting cycle but you still want to increase your testosterone and you would like to try something to boost your masculine essence and strength, I can share a link to that supplement under the video for you. Alright, so a short one today. And oh hey guys, if you have tried to do retention for some time, but you keep failing because you can't stay away from all those tempting adult sites out there, well then you can download my free 90 day no PMO advice and tool guide. I will leave a link to that one under the video as well. So just look for the links under the video and consider subscribing for more interesting videos like this. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today. Keep going and stay strong.